Tua fires in the end zone. Catch at the goal line. Jalen Waddle has a Dolphin touchdown. What's up, guys? My name is Joanna Torres, and you're watching Dolphins Today coming to you from the Baptist Health Studios right here in Miami Gardens. Well, the Finns continue their winning ways by notching a season best fourth straight victory, this time over Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers. On offense, Tua Tungavaloa and Jalen Waddle led the way as Miami scored a season best 33 points. Waddle had nine catches and scored a touchdown en route to the first 100 receiving yard game of his very young career. Defensively, rookie pass rusher Jalen Phillips proved fierce for the Finns as he finished with a career best three sacks. Phillips has five total sacks during Miami's four-game win streak, which includes two double-digit dubs. Here is more from the team on the biggest keys to Sunday's victory. I think that's a good team over there. I think obviously McCaffrey's a, a great player and Cam Newton's a, uh, an accomplished player who's done a lot in this league and they've played well this year so we knew it was going to be a challenge and I think our guys executed. I think our guys, we had a plan going in. I think Josh had a good plan going in. Uh, put together a good plan for us defensively. Um, we executed the plan. We got off blocks. We made tackles. The highs and lows of a game, the ebbs and flows of a game, I think our guys kind of withstood some, some adversity. You know, our guys just kept coming back and you know, it was good to see that. Yeah, I seen him getting a little frustrated though. Um, but uh, you know, uh, I feel like our defense we, we did that to him, and uh, you know we just got to feed off that, try to get every quarterback to feel like that. <laughs> I know he's a, he's a big dude. You got to bring the wood when you hit him. But uh, you know, um, he's a talented player. I know he can still run the ball. Good for him. Uh, we just got we did a good job stopping him, and then we won the game. So well, I don't want to speak for Jalen, um, but to me, you know, he he's looked very mature uh, coming into the league. You know, just. Seeing his development as a receiver, working against man, uh, knowing the spots in certain zone defenses to be in uh, to get himself open, I think he's uh, done a great job. Well, with Turkey Day behind us and Christmas shopping underway, this week's installment of the Drip Report will give us a little glance into the best fins fashion as we hit another South Florida winter, right? So here's Rachel Smith to break down all things Drip Report. How are you doing, Rachel? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good, I'm excited to be back. Thanks for having me. After rocking an impressive cranberry suit last week, Jacoby Brissett kept it casual with this denim jacket and jean combo, highlighted by an impressively colorful kick game. Joe, what do you think of Jacoby's fashion versatility? I mean, I love any type of dope sneaker that has like any type of pop of color, so I'm definitely feeling those kicks for sure. Yeah, it's the muted outfit, but the pop, pop and color. shoes. You gotta do it. Love, love it. it, love it. Receiver Matt Collins channeled his inner baseball pitcher with this customized Oakland Athletic jersey, accented by a pair of green Converse's and golden durag to really round out the look. Judging by his pitch form, Mac might have a two-sport career in his future. Prior to scoring two touchdowns against Carolina, Miles Gaskin rocked a number eight Kobe Bryant sweater while sporting an impressive pair of Jordans. It turned out to be the ultimate look good, play good combo. And here, newly acquired running back Philip Lindsay channeled some Miami vibes with this floral pattern shirt ahead of his team debut on Sunday. His retro Nikes rounded out the look. That's it for this week's trip report. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rach. All right, Miami fans. Well, in this week's edition of Mike Dub, Dolphins defensive end Zach Sealer did the honors while recording two tackles in a pass deflection. Here's a snippet of Sealer's best sound from Sunday. Check it out. Yeah, Christian! Look at him. He's so pissed. He's so mad. He's so mad. <laughs> Get no. Wilkins. He had one play. All right, you're nice. I would love that, but no. Yes! Yes, Chris! Yes! 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 Hey, you owe me. That's how you take over again. All I'm saying is, I was supposed to be in his shoes right there. You didn't want Well, that's a wrap for Dolphins today from Baptist Health Studios. Next time, we'll preview Miami's Week 13 matchup against the New York Giants. Until then, we'll see you Friday. Bye, guys.